Hello, this is Matthew Harms from EMA. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add a new part to an existing symbol library using our EDM tool. So we have an existing library here called ICs, and it's full of library parts that we will see here. But what I want to do is I want to add a new part to this list, and I want to be able to place it in Capture using our proper methodology. So we can place any of these parts first off using the place part method. So if we go to a different uh, page, for example, and we take a look at this IC list, you can see here's 60, uh, 6N, 137, etc. All those different parts that we see are available right there, which correspond exactly to the list that we have right here. But what I want to do is I want to add a new part to this list so that it can become available for me to place in Capture. To do that, what I need to do is first make a part. So I'm just going to come here and make a new library and uh, I'll attach it to a new project. And in this new library, I'm going to make a new part. And in this, I'll call this new part demo test Matthew. Like that, doesn't really matter what I call it. And I'll just make a graphic for it. And again, it doesn't really matter what the graphic looks like. We just want to see how to do this. So I'll do in one and I'll make that an input over there, in two an input over there, and that's it. So I've made myself a new symbol, and it just looks like that, nothing special. And I'm going to save this in, you can see it's in this location right there. So I will um, now upload that part to our EDM system so that we can manage that part in the IC library. Okay, so let's go back to our EDM, and what I want to do is I want to upload that part that I just made. So I'm going to upload it. I'll browse for that directory. I'm just doing that on my other screen right here. And there it is. Okay, so I found that library, and there's the part that I just made. And the status I want to give that part is uh, I'll do for review, is going to be the status I'm going to give it. I'm going to upload it, and I'm going to say new part for review. These are just notes that you can put in on the part that you have there. Okay, so once we've uploaded that part, we can um, we can sort here by status to find these four review parts. So it brings it right to the top for us. We can take a look at that part if we want to, but ultimately what we want to do is we want to make that part available in our library. To do that, we need administrative privileges. You can go over to admin here. You can take a look at your IC library right here. And in your IC library, again, I'll sort by status and take a look at that for review part. And what I want to do is I want to select this part now and I want to promote it. So I want to make it part of that IC library that I have. So I'm going to promote, I'm going to promote it in the OLB file and I'm going to approve it. So I'm going to promote that guy right there. And that will update my IC library. So my IC.olb library has now been updated, and I should be able to place that part now. So if I want to go in and place that part, I can now go to my schematic page and go to place part. And I'll just refresh my list right here. So it's going to refresh it. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go to my IC library that I have right here. And that guy was called Matthew. So I'm going to narrow my list down to show me my Matthew part. And there it is, demo test underscore Matthew. I can place that part in there in my schematic. And there you go. You've now placed a new part into your proper OLB file. And with a proper name, everything tracked within the EDM system. Thanks for watching.